people it's your girl Janiyah Leah and welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are going to be trying out clip-ins and y'all clip-ins usually never work for me but we gonna try them out let me let me clarify straight clip-ins usually never work out for me and most of the time I always feel like my hair is too short or I just didn't have enough clip-ins for a full head so we are gonna see how today goes and honestly this video may just turn into two different methods that you can use to apply clip-ins because we gonna make these clip-ins work I want them to work so bad but anyways let me show you the hair that we're working with so these are the 18 inch straight clip-ins from she slays first hair i'll link all the information about them in the description box down below and i went ahead and i made sure i got two packs of them right because technically it usually goes by the gram so one pack is 100 grams two packs is 200 grams and 100 gram or 200 grams is usually just the amount that you need for a full head and that's what we're going for today so yeah and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or if you just enjoy my content and without further ado let's go ahead and get into it okay so i'm starting off this install by parting the hair at my nape from ear to ear and this is where i'm going to place my first clip in now me personally i don't put too much pressure on the um back of my hair only because this hair is under you're really not going to be able to see it um from the front or from the back how many clip-ins you have back there so i won't waste too many clip-ins on the back but I, be, I did put one just to kind of make sure I had something back there. And so for this method, basically what I'm doing is I'm parting out kind of sections of my hair, just going row to row. And I'm leaving, I want to say probably like two finger widths worth of space in between each clip-in. And one thing to be mindful about, because unless you order two packs, this is why I ordered two packs, because if you only order one pack, that's only about seven clip-ins. And maybe that's why I messed up every time I did clip-in installs in the past is because I didn't have enough hair. So if you do have longer hair and you're trying to make this work with one pack of clip-ins, then it's very, very important that you really space those clip-ins out and make sure, you know, you kind of just have somewhere to put all of them and still make it to the top of your head if that makes sense. But that's why I highly recommend doing two packs compared to one because as you can see, we just have much more working room. Now when it comes to the parting, I'm not super particular about the parting with these clip-ins. As long as you part it and you can literally put the clip-in in and seal it, there you go. Now, my main thing was just working my way up to the top because what you don't want to happen is you spend too much time on parting in the back of your head and then by the time you get to the top, you run out of clip-ins. Now with these seamless clip-ins, I really do like how flat they are and I think they help the overall install not look as thick and bulky as they have looked on me previously but the thing you need to know about these specific type of clip-ins is that they have to lay flat and you have to space the clips out strategically on like the curves of your head if not they will have like a little i'll say like a little lump in it and all you have to do if you have a lump is just unclip the following clip and kind of extend the width in between the two clips and that'll help you kind of alleviate any lump so from that point as we're getting towards the front of my head I like to make sure my hair I like to make sure like the clip in slash like my extensions fall to the very front of my hairline and what I mean by this is have you guys ever seen like installs where there is you know a sew-in or whatever and the hair isn't properly blended towards the front of the head so it literally looks like there's a bang or there's just a drop off from where that person's natural hair ends versus where the extensions just kind of keep going. And so because of that, you guys can see I'm placing the clip in on the very end, like basically that very last piece of hair I can do minus my edges is where I'm placing my clip in because I, I want my natural hair to be able to lay right on top of the clip ins versus it still, you know, kind of having a little bang situation going on. Now, as you get towards like the very curve of your leave out section, these clip-ins can get a little tricky but like i told you um you have to be careful with like 
the curve and having to you know curve them because that's how you can get loops so what i kind of just like to do is just work my way around it even if you have to use like a shorter clip in in the back to cover those tracks like do what you gotta do there's no really one size fits all approach to applying clip-ins because everybody's head shape is different and what may work for my head may not work for yours But all in all, for this method, the most important part for me was to make sure that I had proper coverage right under where my leave out would be. So if you're gonna wear this style in the middle part, basically measure out where that very last clipping is gonna fall. And I don't care if you gonna have like three fingers worth of space in between that clipping and the next clipping, you just need to make sure that you do have a clipping adjacent to where your last part is. So your leave out should be directly on top of the clipping. So for example, my leave out on both sides was not thicker than my index finger. And that way it still covered the actual clipping, but there was also, you know, space between like my natural hair the clip in and then the rest of my natural hair so it really didn't look you know so stark and bulky and you couldn't really see where my actual natural hair ended so from there i'm just going through and trying to blend out my clip ins you guys because as you can see even though i feel like this was a pretty good like install the hair still won't blend perfectly due to the fact that i have like short parts and I have flyaways and all that stuff so kind of just move the clip ins where you feel necessary even if on this first install i literally had to go to the back of my head and remove a little piece from back there because i needed it at the front like i said you can't even see the back but basically to kind of lay down these flyaways and stuff i like to use either like a wax stick or a very very lightweight heat protectant or something to kind of help lay your hair down a very very lightweight hairspray might help as well but as y'all can see here's the final look of the first method and y'all even though this wasn't my favorite method it still works now let's get into part two now for method number two which is my favorite method this part is not as long as the last one due to the fact that this method was just so much easier i probably should have did this first but anyways for this one i'm literally just parting out my leave out and for me personally i like to part out both my middle part and my side part because i like them both and i never know exactly which one i'm going to wear but it'll be so much easier if you do know which one you're going to wear because you can just leave out less hair so once i parted out my hair i went through and i literally just pulled my hair back into a little slick back ponytail and y'all when i tell you you can either substitute this for like cornrows flat twist whatever but for the purposes of you know for the purpose of just getting this done quick and easy the ponytail definitely did what it had to do so from there you guys just see i'm not strategic with my placement at all or i'm not like particular about it i'm just making sure i get those clippings on my head and work my way up to the front of my head now it is a little tricky because i like to try to line like all the way across but as you can see there's no one specific clip in that goes all the way across my head so once the pieces get up to about the top of my ear i then go in with my two clip piece clip ins or whatever and i clip those basically to the front of my head from like what's left of the back hopefully you guys can understand what i'm saying here is easier to kind of look than it is to actually explain but from there i'm literally just working up the space and this side is basically complete, but now I have to go over to the other side because I have more hair left out due to my side part. So once I lay down that very last clip, I can now go into my leave out and I'm gonna lay a clip in in between. And so here's the final look y'all. And when I tell y'all clip ins, I'm a clip in girly now, I'm a clip in girl. Hopefully this video helped y'all out. Okay, y'all, so here is the final look of the clip-ins. And when I tell y'all, I am pleasantly surprised at how my hair blended with these clip-ins and just overall how they look because 
I'm really not a clip in girly, but I am now. I mean, I like it. Hopefully those two methods, either one of them will work for you. Definitely do know the one method where you put your hair back into a ponytail. You can kind of substitute that for like cornrows or braids or whatever if you want to kind of wear these a little more long term. Thank y'all so, so much for tuning in. If this video helped you out and you want to see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and leave a comment down below of any videos that you would like to see in the future, any hairstyles, all that good stuff. You already know, click smash, smack that subscribe button down below and I will see y'all on my next video.